Welcome back. Now you've probably noticed that some of the car names in GTA are odd. Some are really funny, some are just downright filthy, some are obvious, some more subtle, some are really quite clever and some just mean nothing. So I've decided to go through the names of every car in GTA Online and tell you what the interesting ones mean. Now, there are currently over 700 vehicles in GTA Online, with 15 to 20 being added with every DLC. I'll be scooting over any that don't really have anything interesting behind them, and I'll give you my top three at the end. Now, this list is correct as of the beginning of June 2023, so it won't cover anything that comes out after that, and I should also mention that some of these are based on my opinion, and my opinion and fact, basically the same thing, so we're all good there. If I've missed one, please let me know in the comments. Now it's a long list, so let's get cracking with the Karen Bohr. Bohr with a double O means a bad mannered person. Now that works perfectly for a car which is based on the Subaru Brat. Eudora is a reference to Greek mythology, similar to the Buick Electra on which it's based. The Weenie Issy. Now this is a reference to Sir Alec Isigonis, the designer of the original Mini. We're not worthy! We're not a weevil is a really creepy looking type of beetle. Not that sort. This sort. Kanjo is a reference to the Kanjo loop in Osaka, where street racers, dominated by the Honda Civic, used to try their real life GTA skills. Briosa means lively. And this little Fiat 500 replica is certainly that. The postlude is based on the 1980s Honda Prelude. So, I guess the GTA version was made after? The Ruiner. Ooh, bloody hell, I'm, I'm just moving on here. I could be charitable and say this is a reference to what the real life version of this car would do to your wallet, but we all know that's not what they're talking about with this name. The SM722 is based on the McLaren Mercedes SLR Sterling Moss. With the 722 coming from the SLR number 722 in which Sterling Moss won the Milli Miglia. This is one of my favourites, so bravo Rockstar. The LM87 is an odd one. Apparently based on the Mercedes C11 Le Mans car, hence the LM. However, this car didn't run in Le Mans in 1987. In that year, the race was won by Porsche. Torero means bullfighter, ideal for arguably the hottest Lambo in the game. Now on to the Cyclone. Is this a reference to electric cars being like household appliances? Answers on a postcard. An arbiter is someone who settles disputes. And in real life, this car is a bit of Pontiac GTO with a bit of Ford Torino both of which have settled a few disputes in their time. Now you know what a baller is, so we'll move on. Zeno is clearly an anagram of Enzo. The buffalo is based on the charger. A deity is a god. And the Bentley Continental Flying Spur is a god amongst cars. Cinquemila, meaning 5,000 in Italian, just seems to be a play on quattroporte, meaning four doors in Italian on which this car is based. The Dubarchi Champion is based on the Aston Martin Victor, so a simple play on words here. And now we arrive at the Growler. Um, how to put this? Well, let's just rip the plaster off. If you don't know what this means, then good for you, really. I, I mean that, good for you. You're a better person than me, and probably half the people watching this. But this is a reference to a particularly unkempt lady garden. There, I said it. Let's move on. Remus is a mythical figure told to have founded Rome with his twin brother Romulus. His mother was called Rhea Silvia. And guess what the Remus is based on? Yep, it's the Nissan Silvia. On to the tailgater, and yes, we all know why the brand based on Audi has a tailgater in its lineup. So the Futo is based on the Toyota Sprinter Terreno, with Terreno meaning thunder, but Futo does actually mean anus in Somali, so go figure, is this deliberate? I'd like to think so. The Vito, is it just a reference to Mario Kart? Woohoo! I don't know, what do you think? Now being based on the Thunderbird, the Peyote could get its name from the psychedelic adverts that ran for this car at the time of launch. Based on the Jeep Cherokee, the Seminole gets its name from one of the five major Native American nations. These include both the Cherokee and the Seminole. Golf. Club. Moving on. And this one's gonna hurt. Some of you aren't gonna like this, but I'm sorry guys, but this is not the Coquette or the coquette as I've heard it pronounced, it's the coquette, you know, cock. Just so everyone knows, this is a shiny penis extension, they wrote cock on the back. A tigon is a crossbreed of a lion and a tiger, 
and with this thing being based on the Di Tommaso P72, it could be a reference to Di Tommaso's most famous car, the Pantera, which in the game is actually the Viserys. Now, based on the Japanese Honda Civic, Sugoi in Japanese can either mean amazing or terrible depending on how the word is used. So I guess which you choose depends on whether you like the Civic or not. With Imorgan meaning tomorrow, this is most likely a reference to the fuel of tomorrow as the car is based on the hydrogen electric Gumper Natalie. JB700? James? Bond? 007? Yeah, you already knew that one. And I absolutely love the next two. The Grotti Furia. This one is based on the Ferrari 488 Pista. So when they named it, were they just Pista or were they Furiosa? You decide. And then the Asbo. Part Vauxhall Corsa, part Citroen Saxo. These things would terrorise your local supermarket car park in the 90s. In the process, a good number of the drivers would earn themselves an Asbo, or anti-social behaviour order for anyone not familiar with failed British policing policies. A retinue is someone who accompanies an important person, just like an escort, which is what this car is based on. Does Everon refer to the fact that the Hilux on which this is based is notoriously indestructible? Next for the Caracara. So this is based on the F-150 Hennessy Velociraptor 6x6. So why the name? Well, in real life, a Caracara is a bird of prey, otherwise known as a raptor. On to the drafter. Well, it's another Audi, and drafting is a racing term where you gain speed by staying as close as possible to the car in front. And for the life of me, I just can't figure out why they gave this name to an Audi. Now for the Paragon. Well, a Paragon is something regarded as a perfect example of quality, and with this being based on the Continental GT, I could definitely agree with that. The Deviant is easy. This is just based on the Ring Brothers Defiant. Thrax is slang for strong weed. Just gonna throw that one out there. And I have to confess, I've been pronouncing this one wrong as well, because it's not the Devest 8 or the Devesti 8, it's the Devastate. And as one of the fastest cars in the game, that's exactly what it does. Now onto the Schlagen GT. Based on the German Mercedes AMG GT, Schlagen is actually German for punch, which is presumably what it feels like to floor one of these things. We have another bull reference for another Lamborghini with the Tauros. The Apocalypse Imperator is based on the Pursuit Special used by Mel Gibson in the apocalyptic version of Australia we see in Mad Max. On to the Speedo. Yes, this Speedo. So, with this being a rather anonymous looking white van, well, I mean, it, it was until I pimped this one out. Are we supposed to just drop the S here? Obviously the V11 is based on the A10, but I guess... These go to 11. Moving on to the Swinger, arguably one of the worst replicas in the game. Now, I gather this is supposed to be somewhat based off of a Jaguar E-Type. Yeah, I can't see it either, but anyway, the name Swinger would be a reference to the E-Type Jag used by Austin Powers. I put the car in Swinger, baby! <laughs> Ellie, ah, oh, bless her. Ellie is largely based on the 67 Shelby Mustang GT500 built by Hot Rod Royalty Chip Foose for the 2000 remake of Gone in 60 Seconds. Annoyingly, the Dominator would actually make a better Eleanor replica if it had the right options, but I'm not bitter. No, I'm not. The GB500 is based off the Ford RS200 Group B Rally Monster from the 1980s. The Taipan is based on the Hennessy Venom, so what better name to give it than that of a highly venomous snake? Chernobog was a Slavic god, with his name thought to have meant bad fate. However, with no armour and a top speed of 3, the only person who has a bad fate in the GTA Chernobog is the driver. Based on the Aston Martin Vanquish apparently, the Pariah takes its name from what happens to you when you are vanquished. You become an outcast, otherwise known as a Pariah. The Yosemite is based on the GMC Sierra. And in real life, Yosemite is a national park located within the Sierra Nevada mountain range in western USA. A riata is a rope used to catch animals, which is exactly what you would need to catch a bronco. And with a riata being based on the bronco concept, that kind of works. The vigilante. So when everyone's favourite vigilante, not him, closer, that's better, had his car added to GTA Online, what else could they really call it? Now for the Ardent. 
based on the real life Lotus Esprit and up there with the most realistic replicas in the game. Whilst not quite synonyms, the words ardent and esprit have very similar meanings, meaning lively and enthusiastic. Now for another one of my favourites, the Debatchi Wagner, which is based on the Aston Martin Valkyrie, named after the ride of the Valkyries by Richard Wagner. This also applies to the Valkyrie helicopter, named after a scene in Apocalypse Now. The GP1 is based on the McLaren F1, and the Spectre on the Aston Martin used in the Daniel Craig Bond film Spectre. Onto the Nero meaning black. The Nero is based on the Bugatti Chiron. In Greek mythology, Chiron was also known as the Black Mare. Next for the Tempesta meaning storm, quite apt being based on the Lamborghini Huracan. And now for the S key. Now this is a strange one, but as a vintage bike based on the Ducati Scrambler, does this just relate to the S key which makes you stop and go backwards? The Faggio. I'm not going there, but let's be honest, this is probably one of the names they might want to drop for GTA 6. The Ocelot Lynx? Well, it is a jag. So enough said. The FMJ is based on the bullet and is better in every way. Just like a full metal jacket bullet is better than a standard bullet. And I'll be honest, I'm not sure better is the right word here, but we'll run with it. The Roosevelt is a good one. During World War II, US President Franklin D. Roosevelt needed an armoured car for a speech to Congress, but there was nothing available. So what did he do? Obviously, he borrowed Al Capone's armoured Cadillac, which had been seized years earlier. Apparently, he liked it so much that he kept using it until the presidential limousine had been upgraded with the same features. The Shafter. The car of choice for sales reps. I suppose it could equally have been called the Benefactor Blagger, or the Absolute f Scumbag, but Shafter will do. A cognoscenti is a person who is very well informed, and you'd need to be both well informed and pretty bloody well loaded to buy the Maybach on which this car is based. And Sir Sterling Moss gets another reference with the benefactor Sterling, based on the Mercedes 300 SLR which he described as the greatest sports racing car ever built. That may well have been true at the time, but I think the RB19 might have a thing or two to say about that. Now this could be another stretch, but with Virgo meaning maiden, I don't think it's a coincidence that this car is based on the Mercury Cougar. There aren't Cougars in missions! On to arguably the least imaginative name in the entire game, the Kuruma. Based on the Japanese Mitsubishi Lancer, Kuruma literally means car. So this is a car. Well done, really top marks for that one. Now for the Dukes, and you must know where that comes from. So we'll move on to the Rhapsody. With this car being based on the AMC Pacer, it gets its name from the famous scene in Wayne's World where they um, sing along to Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody. Next, the Panto. And there's some debate on what this is based on, but to me it looks most like the Smart for Two, which, as cars go, it's pretty pants, so that works for me. The Rocotto takes its name from its inspiration, the Porsche Cayenne. With the Rocotto, like Cayenne, also being a type of chilli pepper. And now we find ourselves at the BJ, and I'm sorry but this isn't that type of channel, so we're just going to skip past this one. Now for the Pegasi Vaca. Most of the Pegasis in this game have names based on bulls, but with this car being based on the entry level and much less powerful Lamborghini Gallardo, maybe it's right that this one is named after a cow or a vaca in Italian. On to the Fusilade. With Fusilade meaning volley of shots, this suits very well considering this car is based on the Chrysler Crossfire. Right, now for the Feltzer. And I'm sorry, it could just be my mind, but I'm sure they chose this just because it sounds like Felch in mock German. If you don't know what Felch means, then look it up on Urban Dictionary, but, but not on your work computer, and, and not on your parents' computer, and, and don't eat first, eat later, but nothing with cream or chocolate. I just, I just need to move on, don't I? I'm, I'm going to move on. And move on I shall to the Callis Bodhi, which seems to be inspired by the Jeep used in the 1991 film Point Break. I'm going to find your gun up in the air and go, ah! Wrong clip. So who better to name it after than Patrick Swayze's character in the film, Bodhi? 
A phoenix is a mythical bird that set itself on fire and then rose from the ashes. So phoenix is a perfect name for a car based on the Pontiac Firebird. On to the felon. Well, in the US, Jaguar is seen as a luxury car brand. However, in the UK, they have a slightly different reputation. It has enough space for a borrowed oil painting and all the kit that you need to go out at night and borrow another one. And this is because Jaguar was very much the car of choice for criminals throughout the 60s and 70s. And last and almost certainly least, the dilettante. Based on the Toyota Prius, now, a dilettante is someone who shows an interest in something without really knowing anything about it. And for many years, the Prius was the green car of choice for A-list types who would always be seen in them when out and about, but would then think nothing of taking a private jet when it suited them. And if you've made it this far, well done. I mean, really, really well done and thank you. But now for my top picks. I have honourable mentions for the Rhapsody, the Growler and the SM722, but my top three are... In third place, it's the Asbo. And maybe this is because I had quite a few of these cars when I was younger. In second place, the Wagner. I love that this one is really subtle. And in first place, it's got to be the Coquette. Yeah, it really is just an extension of your manhood, isn't it? So what are your top names and did I miss any? Let me know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.